Hi, hello guys. In our last video, we have seen how to remove the line from the set of lines. In this video, we are going to see how to remove lines in a pattern. What does that mean? For example, if you want to remove odd number lines like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, those kind of lines, then we are removing in a pattern. In that pattern, if you want to remove the points, then what you can do? You can use Cull Index. Seen about the Cull Index in our last video. If you haven't watched it, click on the top right corner card, which will show up now. When the list is small, that time you can use Cull Index. But when it's a large number of data, then what you can do? For that, you can use Cull Pattern. In this example only, we will see about cult pattern. For that, we want until divide curve. After that, we can delete. So, where you can find cult pattern? You can find cult pattern in sets, sequence, cult pattern. Through search bar also, you can bring the cult pattern. Let's take a look at the cult pattern component. What are the input it needs? It needs list and cull pattern. We already have the list of points. That list you can connect to this. After this, it needs cull pattern. So, how we will make cull pattern? We can make cull pattern in different ways. First, we will do with the help of Boolean toggle. Where you can find boolean toggle? You can find the boolean toggle in params tab, input panel, and you can find boolean toggle. Boolean toggle only give true or false value only. So in this it is false. If you double click on that, it will change into true. We don't want to see odd number lines. We just want to see even number lines. So for odd number we have to give false for even number we have to give true that's it now we connect this to cull pattern oh wait there are two values how do we connect this to cull pattern so for that we have to use merge component we have seen about merge component in one of our video you can check that video by clicking on the top right corner pop-up card. So let's use merge component. You can connect those data to merge component and connect the result to cull pattern. That's it. You can see we have removed odd number points. The same way we will connect the result to another curve also. So we have removed all the odd numbers. Now what we have to do, we just have to put a line component and connect the lines. So as you connect, you can see the magic on the Rhino environment. We removed all the odd points. Let's tweak the pattern a little bit. So I am adding another true. As you can see in the preview, the first one is false. The next two lines are there. Then the false line then next two lines, then false line, then next two lines. In another way also, we can add cull pattern. For that, we can use panel. Let's bring the panel to the canvas. In this, we will type true and false. So let's connect this to cull pattern. Oh, it's coming in red. But why? Because this is like text. So we have to change this into multi line data. Then you can see the magic. It is connector. So now we have given true and false. So true for odd numbers, even uh, false for even numbers. So you can see the result in the screen. That's all for today, guys. Hope you all understand. Since now we are connecting parallel points, means 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 
two to two like that. Is that possible to connect in a cross way? Means zero to one, one to two, two to three like that. Sounds interesting, right? We will see that in our next video. See you guys.